Welcome back to the channel. So over the Christmas holiday, I found these super cute Himali geometric decor and I really wanted to learn how to make them. So today I'm going to show you how I made these super adorable pieces of decor. You can hang them or put them on the wall, put crystals in them and even air plants. They are the perfect amount of dainty and such a unique piece. I hope you guys enjoy this and try it out yourself. So here's how to do it. For this DIY, you're going to need these brass bars. They come in different sizes. I'll have a link in the description where I bought mine. If you like, you can also use cocktail straws. They are less expensive, and if you like the gold, you could spray paint them as well. If you're going to be using the brass pipes, I would highly recommend getting a pipe cutter. I bought this off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description where I got it. You're also going to need some sort of string or fish wire and some scissors. If you're planning on having your Himili hang, I would recommend having a really nice piece of chain along with some jump rings and some wire cutters and pliers. So the first thing you're gonna do is measure and cut your pipes. So I have a little line marking right here where I wanna cut and I'm just tightening the pipe cutter and it's nice and snug inside. Then I'm gonna grab some pliers to grab a hold of the pipe so it won't move and I'm going to just rotate the pipe cutter around the pipe tighten it a little bit more and rotate it all the way around the pipe again. So I'm going to continue this process, continue rotating and tightening, rotating and tightening until either the pipe falls off with a clean cut just like this or you have a score line like this and you can easily just snap it with your fingers. With this method you don't pinch or bend the pipe. So now you're going to be measuring out your pipes. So I am using four five inch pipes, six two and a half inch pipes, and two three inch pipes. Usually you would have the pipes measured out in groups of four, just like this one. So the longer five inch pipes are going to be the top portion of my triangle. The next four pipes are going to be the base of the triangle and the last four pipes are going to be the underside of the triangle to make it kind of a diamond-ish shape. So now that I have all my pipes cut, I'm going to grab a long piece of fishing wire and I'm going to put this inside of the pipe. So I'm going to put it through two pipes both of them the same size and you're going to make sure that the stream coming out on either side are even. So you should have something that looks like this and now I'm going to grab my second pipes. These are going to be the base of the triangles and I'm just going to thread this through. So once the base is through I'm then going to thread in the other portion of the triangle and I'm going to tie this off at the top. So make sure that when you tie this, tie it in a knot and make sure that it is nice and snug. You don't want the string to be loose because then your pipe will jiggle around in its spot and you don't want that. So now that you have that first triangle shape, I'm then going to grab the other side of my string and I'm going to do the same thing, thread through the base of the triangle and now we're going to tie it off to the other triangle so that they're connected. So now I'm just going to continue adding on these triangles. You can really add as much as you like, mess around with the shapes. The rule of thumb is to keep the pipes the same size or even because this is a geometric shape. So now I'm just going ahead and threading in the third piece of the base of the triangle and making sure to tie it off nice and snug. Once I have that all tied off, I'm gonna grab a new string and grab the last remaining base of the triangle and I'm going to connect it to the bottom and this is going to act as the bridge to create a 3D shape. So you're going to tie it on both sides of the base, make sure it's nice and snug, and now you have a three-dimensional shape. So now once those are tied off, you should have four strings coming out the base of your pyramid and we are going to use those right now. So now I'm going to lay this guy flat and I'm going to grab two pieces for the under portion of this shape and I'm going to thread two pieces on, then I'm going to tie it off using one of the strings that are already there, just like a shoe, tie it in a knot, make sure it's nice and snug and you should have another triangle connected to the base of your pyramid. So do the same thing for the opposite side. Again, mine are uneven because I want this to lay on the wall flat, so I created one longer than the other. 
So make sure to tie those off nice and snug and you're almost done. You should have two triangles that you can bend towards each other and you're gonna connect them. So I'm just cutting off the excess string, grabbing a fresh string and tying these guys off in a knot. If you want this to hang, add a jump ring along with some chain to the top of the shape and now you have a geometric hanging himeli. If you want to attach these onto a wall, just put a nail inside the wall and hang it right on top. You can also add fun things inside of them like crystals to catch the light or even air plants to bring some greenery into the room. However you choose to display your Himalis, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to tweet me a picture with the hashtag CreateCQ because I would love to see all of your beautiful Himalis. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and thanks for watching. Bye!